Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode, and here we are, we're up on this space station. It's quite a busy space station, but most of the ships that are coming in at the moment are quite low level. I've been checking them out for a little while. They're shuttles and very much nothing really worth buying. Not that I've got an, that much cash either. I've only got just over 3.5 billion in cash, so I can't really expand from this ship, so it looks like I'm stuck with it for a little while. And oh, the other thing that's just come up is a reminder there community research it says I've got two days, six hours left to go, and I've still only got two out of six. Now, if you watched the last video, I said that I would go out and try and collect some of those by going back through the portal that was given to me as part of the base community research mission. And what actually happened is I flew down to the planet, went to the portal, and it had actually switched off and it wouldn't let me take me back to the system where the anomalies were and because I haven't got the ability to walk to the red green and blue planets uh, that is now a bit of a bust of a mission so what I want to do in this part is move forward with if I can find it oh yeah expanding the base I think it is here I want to go and get some selenium and um, on a scorched planet so we're just gonna jump in here and I think I'm in the right system And I've oh, haven't I got a planet right in front of me? Okay. This is a very small system. I think it's only got two planets in it. And I think this is the one with selenium on it. Yep. This is um, selenium, cobalt, phosphorus, and activated copper. I'm just going to go straight down onto this planet. And I've just actually watched Zane's latest video on the 1.62 update. It seems that the big focus of that update is actually going to be changes to Exocraft. It seems we're getting a new Exocraft. That, that's a, an extra reason for trying to get forward with the base. Because at the moment I don't have the ability to build Exocraft. When I was coming down, I, I'm pretty sure I could actually see a base, but as I could try and find it, I'm just gonna. This is bound to be a little bit of a scorching planet, so. Wow. It says unknown building, seven seconds away. Aim for that. Maybe this is the base that. Well, it's a, a mini base. I think I'm just going to wander around a little bit and see if I can find something better than that to land first off. Not that fuel is an issue. I just... Well, let's just see how it goes, guys. There's actually something on the ground back here. And I'm very, very curious. That's actually a beacon. Let's just land next to this beacon. I don't know how much burning gas. Wow, what the? Okay, I'm on an extreme hazard planet. This is going to be fun, and I've already been attacked by a creature. Hmm. This could be interesting. to the mission. Wow, okay. Okay. Life is going to be interesting. I do not have the protection from the heat on this planet. Right, let's have a check. I've got plenty of sodium and sodium nitrates. Hmm. 
this build up again. On the positive side, this means this will work to my benefit for the milestone mission over here. There it is, extreme survival. Jump out again and have a look round. We might as well grab the creatures while looking at them. A whole herd of them down here. That looks exactly. Grab that. Trouble is, I've got no idea what selenium now looks like. Back into the ship. Okay, we're going to need to find a base to operate from, I think. Yeah, without the appropriate heat shields, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. What I can only really hope for is that by flying across the planet very, very slowly, I will be able to see a clump of selenium because I've got to use a hazmat lab to actually collect the item. I think this is going to take a little while, so I'll be right back when I actually find anything. Now it says extreme night temperature. I've just landed here because um, I've got some sources over here. of this as possible. Just top this up. This is a ridiculous situation when you're on an extreme planet like this. I'm probably consuming as much of this as I'm actually using. Wow. The metal of Metal fingers, that's uranium. Push this up. Hope this is going to be worth it. Wow. Definitely going to. This is with an upgraded mining laser as well. Wow, 181. seen anything here just at the moment and it's just stand near the ship and sit right out scan that's a hazardous flora I'm not seeing any rare plants or anything around here at the moment let's throw a scan out some oxygen hydrogen okay way off for fuel. I've got 12 takeoffs and landings but I've actually got to down to 5 now and got a bit of dihydrogen but okay, can I make I've only got one thing that replaces that Now that, one of these, that plant, no, that looks like Marabulb. Keep flying slowly across the surface, let the ship drift, till we see something that could be of interest. Something here. I think we can land here what that is ok 
organic rock. Okay. you of the creatures that I okay let's see I, I do want I want a Corvax convergence cube as well so find one of those got there floating crystal 388 meters away I'm not sure what a floating crystal is Made a mistake there. Let's grab some ferrite dust to refuel my ship. Yeah, nice. Right, let's go grab tinamite. One thing about this is it's a very rich planet. I mean just a few of these is making all the difference. Well, it's going to be first. Jump in here. And we're just going to... I'm going to make uh, two of these. Oops. Right, so... Got that as well. Soon it's full. Don't want to waste that. And we can send the uranium starship as well. I think that can go to the star. Oh, great. And it's going to top the multi tool up. We can use the carbon from the ship. Right, we've got a storm coming in to add to the already hostile environment so I think I'm gonna have to look for a base or something. Right, it says there's a base that way. Wow. Look at that. That those rings over the the silhouette of the skyline. That's awesome. I really like that actually. Right, looks like I found a base here guys, so I'm gonna drop down towards it in the darkness. I mean it's pretty bleak, but this is actually a small trading station, that's great. I want to visit one of these anyway. in here. Oh, pretty rubbishy. Multi-tool. And just to show you what life with an extreme storm is. Look at that. That's with no protection. This is going to be a little bit brutal. Rounding cryptic data. Got 13 nanites. Up here. Wow. It's cool. Thank you. Got stuck. Like Galactic Trade Terminal. I could probably sell the chlorine from the ship. Well, it's only 11,000, but 11,000 is 11,000. And I'm, I'm going to get round to this guy in a minute. I'm just going to be a bit more interested in this technology merchant because I've exhausted a lot of the technology on the uh, the base. It's like I've exhausted all the technology down here as well. Okay, uh, components can you sell me? Oh, just components, I can get salt refactor, oxygen filter, 
glass, nitrogen, salt, cobalt, mirror. Is there anything I can get that I actually need here? We've got chlorine lattice technology module, rare earth elements, dense carbon. I could put a blaze javelin on my ulti tool, but what's the point? And I definitely need a ship upgrade because I don't have the space for actually put a hypergrime. I need cadmium and emerald for that. And chromic metal, I could get uh, put a cadmium drive on on here. But that is just wasting space. Anyway, let's have a quick chat with this guy. Tamer, something or other, Federation. The trader's screen blinks angrily with demand for urgent action. The gate worries shows me a list of items, each with a monetary value attached to it. The timer is ticking down. They hold their breath and look at me with bulging eyes. They peck hurriedly at the sleeve of my exosuit. Um, let's pay full amount, just to see. The remotely operated sense dispersal also pays me both a pleasant perfume. The trader thanks me. Oh well, got an increase in standing with the Gek, if nothing else, I suppose. Anything round here, but... Okay. Looking for plants, please. Nothing there. the right. I think I need to get... yes. Look round, I can claim the base. And... Let's use that up. Get my inventory up. Yeah. It's another. I suppose it's only about a matter of time before I run into a creeping, creeping bug. They they tend to be around quite a lot. Just. Get back into here. Okay, life is interesting. That can go to the starship on the way. I think I'm just going to use that up to get the space. That can go to the high capacity. To thin the herd. Go over there. Subterranean relic. Okay, is that is there going to be a cave over here? I'm interested in a subterranean relic. Going underground on a planet like this is really great. Okay. We got a vortex cube. Bulb. Right, at least stood here. I can. These are going to be vortex cubes. Okay. Not seeing it from a plant perspective. Activated copper deposits, that'd be really nice. This planet could be fantastic if I could actually survive on it uh, with the proper protection. Yep. Yep. Yep, I'm just going to get round here. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm not yet particularly that interested in the 
Aero bulb. Looking keep grabbing some ferrite dust when I oops, I should have so I can keep making the fuel we get into here. Oh, isn't this fun? Salt. Just gonna have to sell that straight away because I don't. I think it's that plant that I keep getting hooked on there. Say so we might as well sell the salt immediately. I don't have the space for that. We got some tetra cobalt one. I think we're gonna sell this as well. Simply because I just don't have the space at the moment to carry that type of equipment around. But then that's part of the fun of the game. Right, so we're back in daylight. Uh, some birds there. Not having a lot of luck scanning birds. And what I'm going to do now is just do what I've been doing. We're back in daylight and I can actually see what I'm doing. So there's a knowledge stone there. Just gonna land here. I'm curious. Plus, there's some fuel to allow me to reload. Tritonium. And I've got. How about that, Mr. Sentinel? But I had to look round. Activated copper. Just grab this. Okay. An identified plant there. Get that. Some more of this, I can replenish my ship fuel. All right, dust and phosphorus. This. I think I might have found some. Right, we need. Thank you, game. Just as I find selenium, we get an extreme weather event. I'm just gonna let that build up. It's gonna jump out. Yeah, this is definitely selenium, and I've just been whacked. Solar vine, yes. And I've lost my ship. Lost my ship, lost my ship. Wow. Right. I wonder if that is going to be enough or abandon the base. Let's just have a quick look. 39 out of 45, so. What I'm going to do is just sit here and ride out the storm. That was a little bit too exciting. I'll see you in a minute, guys, once the storm's died down. Long last, the 
storm is gone. It is just. Hey. Oh. oh. Perhaps we have to try and stay in the locality at the moment. And see if that sentinel will clear off. This is not going according to plan. What I need to do now is just fly around and see if I can find that selenium again. Come on, it's going to be around here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, thank you, game. Right, there it is. So we're going to have to land again. Ah, oh, this is fun. Go. <laughs> Obviously, this stuff is actually defended. Right, let's get in here and grab as much of this as possible. We might as well get the maximum benefit from it. You know, I'm down on this. Right, the advantage is that once I actually get close enough, um, I wish it wouldn't do that, but never mind. Yes, stop coming in. Maybe hanging around here is not the best idea. Right, a couple more, and then we're going to get out of here before the next storm comes in. Okay, one more. Don't forget, I know it's getting greedy, but uh, so drop the sodium nitrate. Don't want to hang around too much. Wow. Into the ship. And see what we got. We've got 242 selenium. That is just about right because that just fills up one slot. I think it's time to leave this planet, go back up to the base. We've actually got a couple of missions to hand in. I don't think the stylish design is one of them, but right, let's get up into space. Is that the space station? Yep. That was an interesting run through there, guys. Just going to jump out. Actually, I don't think I've been in this space station properly. Let's have a look round first. Because this is a system that I visited, but I never... I think I passed through on one of the missions. Wow. Okay, I've, I've got a suit here. Didn't realise that. Okay, 26 slots. And 400,000 for a slot here. To be honest, I think I'd rather have a, a general slot at the moment because this is the area that's more active, uh, so I think we're going to grab that. Oh, I'll say that was a bit of a fail there, guys. Let's have a quick check of the tech as well. Uh, I think I've grabbed all the tech I actually need here, but just have to see what the environmental protection is. I mean, I haven't really looked at this so far. Shield, radiation protection, underwater protection module, thermal protection module. So that would have given me a bit of protection if I'd put it on there. The problem is I don't have the space really. To do it. That scatter blaster looks quite useful. I, th I think we'll get that upgrade. Toxic protection. Let's just have a quick look at that. I do really want to push up the scatter blaster. 
No, I think we're going to install that. That's going to go on the tool. Yeah, that's going to push up my scatter blaster capability now. So that gives me more, a bigger clip size, a bit more damage, a better fire rate. Let's just have a quick look at this and see what you've got. Purchase upgrade modules. Photon cannon. Our ship. Yeah, again, I don't really have the space in. In the phase beam could be useful, but I don't think I've got. See, I'd have to install it on here, and I don't have the space really. What that silver's doing there? I'll shove back to the freighter. Maybe it's time to start thinking a little bit about doing something to do with the freighter as well. Anyway, just to make it complete, let's have a quick look at this. Actually, we could have a look at the multi-tool as well. At it. Text, yeah. And he got an extension to the. Obviously, I've used up all the technologies that these guys are selling. I'm going to have to start looking for manufacturing bases to actually improve my things. He's got a scanner module there. And there's an S class scanner module there. I've got loads of nanites. Also got loads of quicksilver now. Okay, let's have another look at the multi tool. Could put another scanner module in. Yep, I think maybe that would be useful. That might have does it but hopefully if it increases my income a little bit. It's an S one there. Yep, I think I'm gonna go with that. That might actually increase my income a little bit. Nope. Back here. That'll give me a bit of a scanner range there. Okay, this is a multi tool. If there's any, if it's a cool multi tool. Wow. 24. <laughs> this is adding insult to injury. I've got an A class 24, and I've just put technologies in here. Oh, what a downer. This is a 23 slot. This is a 24 slot. Now, I'm very tempted to buy this, but I don't have a lot of money. And while it looks really good, I think I'd rather have something that looks a bit more unique than that, than this, just for one slot, because I'd have to sell off all this stuff and start again. Now, I'm going to decline that. I know it's a 24 slot, but I, I can't see the benefit of actually spending most a third of my cash and then having to put all those technologies back in just for one slot that I'm not currently even using. So that's going to have to wait. Plus, I'd, I'd rather have something that looks a bit better than that. Now, Trade Envoy, wherever you are, you give me something. Let me... Browse missions, handy missions. So I've only got the one. I thought I had more than that. 51 there. Standing with the Mercenaries Guild has increased. Thank you. Uh, browse missions. Let's see what we've got here. Well, we certainly want that. And kill 15 creatures. Uh, certainly going to accept that. Uh, derelict, collect 50 copyright. Yep, I think we'll do, definitely do that for 248 nanites. And that's about it. So I think what we're going to do is, just to wind this video up, to go back to the overseer so which means I need to get back to my base yes I know outside just gonna use the teleporter back to the primary base right, just tap out of that and we're just gonna go and see so we initiate in the mercenaries guild now work gek for wherever you are for some 
It's good to see you, friend. I trust the Vakeen technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. Be interested to see the effect the second gek will have on my overseer. So we've now got a agricultural terminal. That means we're going to have to build an expansion to our base. Never fear, friends. I shall make it up to you. So it all requires a few circuit boards to finish the plans from our trade terminal. Now we see request circuit boards to create a galactic terminal. Yeah, well, that's not exactly that high on my agenda, to be honest. I think getting the farming capability is quite useful. And I, I don't think my science guy, my armorer... So let's have a quick look at what I've got mission-wise. You need to... Need to cube and warning mission out of range hold learn the glyph sequence hmm where is that mission then is that guy she got trapped at? now the the arbor wants to see me but that means I'm gonna have to go and fight uh, what we call it uh, uh, pirates sorry brain faded a little bit there I'm just curious about this first traveller mission. I mean, I'd like to build the base. It says the first traveller mission is up here. The portal. I'm, I'm just curious to see what that is. So we're just going to go have a quick look at it. Just to wind this video up. I, th I thought I'd got to the point where I was just collecting glyphs. I'd really like that, a, a Corvax Convergence Cube. Right, so it says Planet, Portal. I thought I'd finished with the portals. Let's just drop a save, just in case everything goes wrong. I mean, I could reset the mission, but... I'm just curious, guys. We are... Back to a portal. Hmm. Could be interesting. Charge the portal glyphs. Not sure what that actually means. So this is effectively just a lesson on how to charge the portal up. And I would have to use up a lot of resources to charge this up. Yeah, I'm not... Let's have a quick check through here. Okay, let's, let's do it. Um, got some no, okay, we'll use cobalt for that. Uh, got some condensed carbon. Uh, this is going to use up resources, but I've got loads of resources, so. Nope, still don't have enough. This could get a little bit messy. Well, I've got the dehydrogen dihydrogen for it, I've got the oxygen for it. I mean, I'm just going to have to go out and collect the necessary resources. Oh. Um. Right, I'm out of... Uh, so I need some dihydrogen and some deuteronium. Yeah, well. Oops. Grab the dihydrogen here. Before the local sentinels come in and bomb me. Hopefully that will be enough to actually charge this up. And I'm going to be really miffed if this is forgotten. What I'm 
go walk about guys a little bit okay. I'll see you in a minute once I've actually found some more dihydrogen Again. So we've recharged the portal. All traveler capture loop enable anomaly event contained. The portal seems to beg me to approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. And it requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request planet's address. Okay, that's the planet's address. Is that it? I'm not going to be able to go through it, I shouldn't think. Nope. So that was the lesson in activating a portal, which was quite expensive from a resource perspective. Of course, I, I might get some Albion pearls up there. So I'm going to just jump in here. I want to check my inventory. Well, I've got loads of sodium. And luckily I had all this stocked up. So I didn't really uh, consume that much. It was just the dihydrogen that I did. But I only carry the dihydrogen for refueling my ship. So I've still got six takeoffs. Or six and a half takeoffs. So that's not a problem. Now, just before I wind this video up, I just want to check what I need to make circuit boards. Uh, so we need heat capacitors and polyfiber. And I don't think I've actually got the... I don't have the blueprints for that. So I've either got myself into a little bit of a backwater or I'm going to have to push forward with the science mission. Anyway. Right, guys, I think that's it for this video. It's been interesting running around a scorching planet proving that I do need some heat shields which means I need to accomplish two things I need to try and find some drop pods I need to start expanding my suit and then also need to start making some cash and also need to work on the on my base so the list of things I need to do is quite endless so hope you enjoyed the video and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>